Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you a unbagging um, of a Louis Vuitton item. Of course, as you can see right there. I did purchase this. This is a pre-loved item that I did purchase off of eBay. And I did purchase it from a seller, a Japan seller. And the reason why I use that seller is I had watched a couple other videos of people that had purchased from this seller and everything seemed to be legit with them and no issues. So that's why I went to look at this seller and see if they had this item that I was looking for. Um, this was an item that I wanted, but I didn't want to pay full price um, for it. And I knew that they could be found on the pre-loved market fairly easily. Um, I did have uh, some stipulations that I wanted it to be and um, so we'll get started with um, bagging it without further ado so that you can see it and of course it came in the dust bag um, there was no receipt and there was nothing else with this item other than the dust bag but it is the Louis Vuitton um, MM Agenda in the Demir Abin print um, I specifically wanted the Demir Abin print because I have the PM in the monogram. So I wanted one that was a different um, canvas than the one that I already have, which is the PM size, which I use every day. I carry this in my, my purse. And this is my agenda that I use on a daily basis. But I had decided that since I didn't know if I was going to be a planner girl to start out with and so I had purchased this one again on the pre-loved market over a year ago and thought well I'm going to try it and see if I like it if I'm going to even utilize a planner and I don't know why I wouldn't think that I wouldn't because to be honest with you I have had a planner of some sort ever since I was in high school. So I've always have used either a planner along this line, usually they were about this size, or one of the little pocket calendars that you can usually purchase for like a dollar. But anyway, some way or another, I was always using a planner. So, but anyway, I, you know, with investing the money into a, a Louis Vuitton planner cover, agenda cover, you want to make sure that you're going to utilize it and use it. So, um... I decided it was time to upgrade to the MM size and this is what I got and one of the stipulations that I wanted it to be was in the Demir bin like I said and so I did get that another stipulation was that I wanted to make sure that the snap was good and tight and this one is there's no problems with the snap um, there is just a little bit of rubbing here on the um, button the snap but you know that is to be expected with being something that this is where this is the part of your agenda that you're touching the most by opening and shutting it so um, another stipulation that I wanted was I wanted the glazing to be intact and this one does have um, really good um, glazing on it um, I don't know if that's going to focus or not so everything on the glazing I felt was very good mm, probably not going to focus is it oh well I don't know how to get it to focus with it doing this way oh there we go um, there is one spot though that I did not notice when I was looking at the pictures online and it wasn't disclosed and I have a hard time finding it. I think this is it right here. Right here and I don't know if you're actually going to be able to see it or not. There is just a small a small okay where am I at this is so hard to do this this way there's just a little small spot right there so 
so I will just keep an eye on that and if my glazing you know starts to really get bad I can always send this in to Louis Vuitton and have it reglazed that won't be an issue um, the corners look good there's no cracking of the canvas and like I said this is good there's no cracking here in the um, the band that snaps over I don't know what you call that the loop and the pockets are in really really good shape they're not stretched out now it does kind of um, flop up a little bit but that what I've uh, seen from a lot of videos these just have a tendency to do that they have a tendency to kind of not lay flat and they also have a tendency to um, kind of curl up here on the edge which is not a big deal I mean it's just going to happen especially the more you use it like mine here um, it wasn't curled up like that when I got it but the more I've used it and got it in and out of my purse it just it, it curls up that's just what they do so um, another stipulation that I wanted I wanted to make sure that all these rings were very tight that there was no gaps because I didn't want to have any issues with my um, pages slipping out of the rings and there's no issues with that everything's good um, this part looks pretty good there's a few little scuff marks but again that um, can be expected there's no problems with that opening or shutting uh, it's very tight it hasn't sprung there is a little bit of indentation right here from the rings but again that's just something that is going to happen there's no stickiness in here and another issue or another stipulation that I wanted was I did want it to be made in France and this one is made in France you're not going to be able to see that and I'm not going to be able to figure out how to get it zoomed in close enough for you to see but it is made in France another stipulation that I wanted was I wanted to make sure that there was no stickiness in this back pocket because a lot of times there is and, and once again there was no stickiness no cracking um, no stitching issues again there's just a little bit some minor indentations here from the rings but that that's going to happen that's just part of the wear and tear now one of the um, one of the faults with this particular planner other than that one little spot of the glazing was that it is initialed it is initialed with ya um, that doesn't bother me that it has someone else's initials on it because i know that if if i really really wanted to if it was really going to bother me i could take the gold fooling fooling off of there the indentation of the wine at the A is still going to be there, but I'm just not going to see the, the, the foiling of it, which it doesn't bother me. I'm just going to, if anybody asks me, I'm just going to tell them that that YA stands for your awesome. So it's, it's not a big deal. Plus, for the most part, when your agenda is closed, it's like this. And this is my personal agenda. The, no one's really going to be looking at this except for me and then when I show you guys any planner spreads or what's in my agenda that's the only time it's going to be shown as a YA if anybody's going to see it so it's it's not that big of a deal especially with the fact that it's in good condition as it is and the year that it's from which I forget what year it's from oh <sighs> I will put that on screen here I forget and it's really hard to find the, um, the date code in these I think they're up underneath the flap and I don't have my glasses on so I'm not even going to try and do the flap um, the pen holder does look to be a little bit stretched out but I don't think that's going to be an issue because the pen that I plan on using is going to have a little hook on it anyway so it's, it's not that big of a deal and then back here everything looks good again there was no issues with the stitching um, there was no marks there's no funky smell to it I know sometimes when you order things from Japan they have a little bit of a, um, a musty odor to them um, it's just part of it um, I don't know what the deal is I don't know if they just have so many that they have in storage and 
I don't know. I don't know why they all have musty smells in them, but I know a lot of vintage pieces will, but this does not have any smell to it. So on the whole, it was pretty well taken care of. Um, then of course, the next criteria for the purchase, um, of course, was the price. And I think these retail for around, I know they retail for over $600 possibly going up to seven for the ML. And this was, I got this with shipping, it was free shipping and everything for $300. So well under half price. And I know that's still a lot to pay for an agenda. And I knew I could have went to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Walmart even, Sam's, and gotten a agenda for around you know $30. But I wanted a Louis Vuitton and I felt like this was a good deal. I felt comfortable with that seller. I'm um, just from the reviews of other people that I've purchased from that seller and um, it came very quickly. No issues with it being delayed in shipping or delayed at customs and I'm just very very happy and I cannot wait to start officially using it um, in January. So Anyway, so this is my Louis Vuitton um, Demir Abin Agenda Unboxing, Unbagging, Reveal. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, I do upload videos on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Please be so inclined to push that subscribe button and also the bell notification icon so that you are notified of all future videos and again welcome to my channel and I will talk to you soon